So my dad going soft box decided to break. Let's hope this video turns out pretty good as far as lighting goes. Hey beautifuls, I'm Deja Lynn and you are watching who is Deja Lynn. Thanks again for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I got these braids, girl. So I'm actually calling these the Egyptian box braids because that's what they remind me of. They remind me of like this Egyptian theme, you know, when they were like, how's it go? I don't know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> Anyways, yes, I love these box braids. The first time I ever did box braids on my hair where they actually turned out like almost perfect. The only reason why I say they're not perfect is because um, I, I did my hair too high and then my natural hair started to curl up, which was stupid. I don't know why I did that. But yes, if you want to see how I did these, stay tuned and keep watching. So guys, I'm using the expression hair and this is Kanekalon flame retardant fiber the hot water set you want to make sure that you get this brand because your hair will not look right at the ends it's 82 inches and it um, is 100 percent Kanekalon fiber if you don't use this hair it will not dip well at the end so you want to make sure that it is the hot water set I'm also going to be using this edge control by BioCare Labs. It's pretty much like any edge control. It's just, it's thick and it does the job. So that's what I need for the roots, just to make sure that my roots are nice and slick and are going to at least give me some hold at the root. I'm going to be using this moisturizing hair butter by Earthborn Organics. This product is very thick and it works really good for more of a thicker hair um, texture but I really like to use this whenever I do protective styles because that will ensure that my hair is going to stay moisturized the whole um, time that I have these braids in and my hair won't be dry when I take it out. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the hair. It is very long and you're going to want to make sure that you cut it in half. I tried to cut it in half and then I tried to cut it in half again but it, that was too short so I just stuck with cutting it in half and that worked pretty good. And you don't want to use a whole whole lot of hair. Um, just probably as big as your thumb finger I think maybe I can say that. Um, make sure you pull your edges down. I don't like my edges to be pulled up because I like my baby hair <laughs> so I make sure that that's pulled up and then um, before I put the rubber band in and I do the rubber band method only in the front part of my head I don't do it um, in the middle I only do it around the front because that's the um, for some reason the back and the front of my hair gets it gets really loose really fast it doesn't matter who braids my hair how tight it is so I have to make sure that I use the rubber bands in the front when I do braids or anything um, for bigger braids but smaller braids they usually stay in longer so yeah I'm just um, gonna put this in and I like to do it tight this does not cause tension on my head at all but this is what works best for me and I would say do you know use whatever method works best for you Um, and I'm just gonna take my piece. I'm not gonna do the method where I split the hair in two because I only do that when I'm doing smaller braids. For box, box braids, I do them this way because it's easier for me to grip. And um, I'm just gonna wrap it around and go ahead and start braiding. And it started to get tangled at the bottom, so that's why I have my head down a little bit. But I usually do this for a minute and then um, maybe like four times around, I think, for four braids and then I um, and then I split the hair so that it can um, have a third part. You can't really tell on this section, on this part right here, but the next section that I do, you'll be able to tell.
and then I'm just gonna braid it down to where the other braids are at on the side and put a rubber band in just making sure that they're pretty much all even you don't want to have a whole bunch of different lengths when you have your braids so I'll just take the one that's the closest to it put a rubber band on it and then cut it right there I know where my hair ends I can see it in the braid so I don't really have to um, be too cautious of that because I made sure that I did them a length that would be at least three to four inches away from my natural hair or at least like two inches naturally when you're braiding your hair it's going to shrink almost if that makes sense so here's the next one you can tell a little bit better here so how I switched how I um, created another part of the hair just make sure that all three parts are even when you're doing this so that way you don't have a crooked looking braid and this piece right here that's sticking out I'm just gonna put some edge control on it and if you watch the method that I'm using I'm kind of twisting it around I can't underhand braid my own hair so I just twist it around to make sure that it is wrapped inside of the braid nicely and again I'm just measuring it just to make sure that it's the same length and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off at the bottom and if you can tell they're very stiff and this is what they will look like if you don't dip your hair I definitely dip my hair because I do not like that stiff look some people like it I don't it I just don't like the way it looks so if you can tell the difference between that one and then the other ones the hair is way more movable and that's the look that I was going for with these box braids so I'm just gonna take those two pieces and dip only the ends in so that my natural hair doesn't start to curl up and um, because if it does it'll start poking through the braid and then I'm just gonna take some of these hair cuffs and um, put these on the braids. I like to put them at the bottom of the braid because it ensures that I mean it kind of like I don't know I just I like that look at the bottom and we're pretty much going based off the hairstyle that we saw from natural babe um, I don't remember what her name is, but I'll show it in a minute But yeah, that's the look that I was going for so that's why we did them at the bottom. That's a really cute look anyways um, and yeah, and then I'm going to do my edges with Earthborn Organics um, flax seed edge control and my doll baby edge control brush and I'm not good with doing my edges on camera so I actually went and did them in the bathroom so these box braids were actually inspired by someone on Instagram I'm sure you all know who she is her picture's been all over the place that was actually the front of my it was my thumbnail yeah so it was on my thumbnail and I um, post that picture on Instagram and I got so well more than what I'm usually getting but I got a lot of responses from in the comments um, from that picture in the comments just people telling me how much they like um, this hairstyle so you guys already know who she is I'm gonna show her face right here on the screen her name is natural babe 10 point 11 pro she actually said she's gonna be starting her youtube channel soon so we'll be able to see how she gets those bomb faux locks i usually do goddess faux locks i'm not i don't really do faux locks on a regular but um i'm gonna be i'm excited to like try that on my hair because that'll be my first time if you guys enjoyed this video and if you like this style comment below and let me know if you tried it yet or if you plan on trying it or if you are going to follow this tutorial of how I did my own box braids, let me know down below in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.